dearest friends, nice to see you again. Now let's head straight into the Arcan R4 No review. Pretty straightforward review, and I shall not keep you friends in suspense. The Arkham R Phono on all counts lost to the money. High frequencies, my word, the R Phono is a far cry from the money. Extension, details, definition, all aspects. With the R Phono, strikes on the symbol matter are not distinct, resonance is coarser, shadings are not reproduced, symbol fate is not convincing. The money show how it's done. The money catches and showcases the sparkling, fine transient strikes clearly, reproduces the rightful colors, twang and shades. Also sumptuous. It also lavishes us with those micro cues, providing that enlivening fade and air to simple play. Bass. Again, no comparison between the two. The R Phono's bass quality and quantity both losing to the money. As the R Phono reaches low, the money plunges further into the depths. And as the R Phono grapples with speed, control, and details, the money provides a sonic extravaganza, showing off its power, agility, bounce, details and definition. We appreciate how impressive the money is when we witness the R Phono's mishandling of vocals and violins amidst the busy, bass-heavy mix. Masterclass here by the money, it shows a very clean pair of hands while the R Phono has butter fingers. And here, 
is China Moses and her bass sidekick. Have a listen. Your melody is sounding good to me. Your melody is sounding good to me. Oh, you know some brothers talk like they do, but they don't. Oh, you know some brothers talk like they do, but they don't. Mid range. A bit of a reprieve here for the R for No as its mid range is sweet and balanced. Detail and harmonics, first Duke's guitar, clarity of pluck, richness of microdynamics and harmonics, the money pulls away from the R for no. Critically, the money benefits from a quieter background, everything sounding relaxed while the guitars creates bow strokes on this clear canvas. Melody Gado, this is Arfono's version, her vocal harmonics not coming through well. All the time I thought you gave your heart, I thought that I would do the same for you. And now, hear Melody Gado's articulation, clear and real, almost live, in front of you and intimate, teeth, lips, her sigh, her brooding, and the air around her, all with the money. All the time I thought you gave your heart I thought that I would do the same for you All the time I thought you gave your heart I thought that I would do the same for you All the time I thought you gave your heart I thought that I would do the same for you Ditto for Rebecca Dario She sounds flatter with the R for no but clear and moving with the money. That's presence, realism and air provided by the money or a class above the R for no. Dime tu que puedo hacer Dime tú qué puedo hacer. No me quieres, chica. No me quieres, chica. Que al verte otra vez, que al verte Stanley Tarantine's saxophone play furthers the same narrative, being flatter, more two-dimensional, with the R for no, just less image realism, less spatial presence than the money. The money gifting us the opposite 
much to our delights, Stanley saxophone sounds alluring and three-dimensional. Let us take a quick turn to percussion and you can hear the stark difference between these two phono stages. More visceral, more intimate and simply more life with the money. And friends, we do not need fireworks to show this disparity in sound quality between these two phono stages as even gentler performance by strings will show it clearly. Here again, the R for no coming up with a two-dimensional presentation while the money giving us an absorbing performance. The strength of harmonics retrieval with the money adds so much to the suspension of disbelief and transporting us to the performance venue. And this is the reason why we get into vinyl abandoning those time smear, face shift, pre-ring, post-ring that plaques digital playback. And now to the full on works, the combination of drums, bass, triangles, the brass winds, the wood winds, the strings. Listening to the triangles with the money, I feel like a child in Wonderland. And here, listen to the brass wings crescendo. The R Fono struggles while the money flies high. Help yourself, friends. All arts crescendo, the R Fono just can't provide the bounciness, the dynamism, the separation, spatial imaging, and realism that comes with the money. The money is breathtaking, while the R Fono leaves me wanting for more. Te encontrar de qualquer jeito Te encontrar de qualquer jeito Faz de conta que ainda é cedo Faz de conta que ainda é cedo Tu...
o sol amanhecer e ver a vida acontecer. Ver o sol amanhecer e ver a vida acontecer. In conclusion, I can't recommend the Arfono when we can have so much better performance packed into a smaller box and so much cheaper, the shit money. Dear friends, I had already bought the Autophone 2 and Bronze at the Nagaoka MP200 a year ago and I'll pick up the Grado Reference Platinum 2 cartridge from my local Grado retailer soon. It will be involved in the upcoming shootout and review series, the Group E Cards. We shall also look forward to the launch of the Shit Soul Turntable late summer this year and see if it matches the Planner 3 or better still, better it in performance. As I always say and maintain, I do not fly the flag for any audio company nor retailer. Whichever product performs better and is more affordable, I will recommend it strongly. See you my dearest buddies and friends. Thank you for your time.